Hey guys, today I'm going to do um, my challenge prompt for the Doodle Wash March 2020 Watercolor Group Challenge. And I keep seeing all of these little flower pots on Pinterest that have quirky little sayings for your cactus or your succulents. And they th say things like suck it and little prick and just cute little puns on them. So I just want to kind of do a little illustration of a little flower pot with the succulent and the little cactus on it. So I'm going to use this Nujabi handmade paper. It's size 5 by 7 I purchased this from Jerry's Artorama in packs of 10. It's 300 um, pound paper. So it's really thick and it's got a great texture, this handmade paper. And I love the um, torn kind of edge from the handmade paper on this. It's really fun. I'm going to use this graphite aquarelle pencil from Faber-Castell just to draw my, um, sketch out my flower pots. I'm a little bit wider on that one. Let me go like this. Maybe. There. A little more than that. Okay. Just erase a little bit of that extra. Okay, so I think I'll do like a succulent in this one and a little cactus here. I did see kind of a reference photo. I'm kind of basing this off of I found on Pinterest. It's just a photograph of somebody who had made these flower pots. And I think I'll do kind of a background wash on this to start. I'm going to use my half inch uh, flat wash brush here from Princeton Velvet Touch just to kind of um, give this a little bit of a background. Now my reference photo doesn't really have a shadow, but I want to add one to my flower pot. So I'm going to um, see if my light was coming from this way. I want my shadows on my pots to come this way. So I'll add that to my background wash as well. I'm just kind of do little bit and I think I'll go just kind of a gray blue color so I think I'll do a little bit of this ultramarine and a little bit of my burnt sienna light and mix that together Maybe a little more ultramarine Just gonna add that in there. A little more water to blend that in. Okay, and I'll just add a little bit more kind of around the pots there. 
or my shadow. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just dry that with my dryer really quick. That's curved up a little bit. I'm actually just going to tape this down while I'm working on that so I don't have to keep holding it. Okay, and I think I'm going to use here um, a round size 4. This is also a Princeton Velvet Touch brush. I just personally like these brushes a lot. I've been using them quite a bit and I feel really comfortable with them. Okay, so for my pots, I think I'm going to do like kind of that terracotta look. So I'm going to just use some Burnt Sienna Light that I have from Daniel Smith. I'm going to do the um, main body of the pots first. Like I said, I've got my light coming from this way, so I want to do maybe a darker wash on this side of the pots over here. And then I'll have a darker spot right along this edge here too from where the shadow of the lip would be. So I'll just do my first wash over that. this bottom edge here and this side. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and do this part of my pot or actually I think I'm going to go ahead and do the what's inside my pot before I do the edge in case I go hang over the edge there and I want to make sure I know where my back edge of my pot's going to be okay so this succulent I want to make like kind of this gray green color I think I'm going to use my undersea green and maybe I'll actually mix that in a little bit with that uh, ultramarine burnt sienna mixture I had just to give that a little more of a grayness That'll be good. Add a little more light water in there. Okay, I'm going to do my front one first. And these have kind of a dark tip, so I'll go back over that after my first layer. So do my shadows. Okay, so there's just my first wash of my succulents, and I'll go back and I'll add some detail just to kind of define where the different um, segments are of that. And then this cactus here, I want to do that same kind of color, but maybe just a little bit darker. And this is going to have kind of like spikes all over it too, so I'm just kind of make like a bumpy little cactus guy. dirt maybe in there. Um, I think I'll use some burnt umber. 
bit. Oh, I want that to be a little bit darker, so I'm going to add a little bit of this neutral tint to it. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to add in a little bit of my dirt here. All right, and I think I'll go ahead and I'm going to try just very carefully to add in the burnt sienna here on the lip of my pot, just being careful not to touch that green. If you don't feel comfortable doing that and you're afraid of bleeding, I would just go ahead and dry it really quick. In fact, I think I will do that because my luck lately has been terrible with bleeding. I'm just going to go ahead and dry that. I am definitely not patient when it comes to painting. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do my wash of burnt sienna over this edge of the pot. And doing that back lip. Remembering I need to do my shadow area right over here on this side that's darker. I'm just going to add a little more to that top edge on the side right there. And that's okay to go a little wet and wet. It'll blend that in very nicely. Here I just want to Add a little more under this edge here. Okay, I can go back in and do the details on this succulent now. And I still have that mixture, that grayish green I made. It's starting to separate a little bit, so I'll just mix that back together. I just want to define my succulent edge. go ahead and add my little spikes for my cactus here and I think I'll use yellow ochre for that. I think I'm actually going to switch to um, a spotter brush here just to get those really tiny lines here. This is um, size 18 uh, I'm not really sure how you read the sizes on these, but it's 18 over 0 spotter. This is also a Princeton Velvet Touch. I'm just going to, oh, I said ochre, whoops, yellow ochre. It's a very, very tiny tip, so you can get those really tiny details on here. And they have the spikes on these just kind of going all over the place. Almost in a star-like pattern on my reference photo. I'm just going to go ahead and add all those little spikes my cactus. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of a... I'm going to take a little bit of that and just on the tips of these, just add a little bit more. On my reference photo, the tips of those succulents were a little darker. I'm actually going to go ahead and take that green. I'm just going to add a little more details here of like a little succulent leaf coming this way. 
Okay. Well, that doesn't really show up that well. Oh, well. Okay. Now I want to make sure this is all the way dry and then I can add what would be on my little pot. Um, the funny little puns like suck it for the succulent and little brick for this um, cactus. So let me dry that. And I think I'm going to use um, my fine tip. Oh, let's see. Um, yeah, this one's smaller. Yeah, this one is an extra small uh, Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen in black. And this one is the XS or extra small, I guess, is what it stands for. Um, this was in a pack of, I believe, there was eight different Pit Artist Pens that came um, a lettering kit. Uh, so I'm going to put the Suck It on this one. Okay. Uh, and I had a problem here that I haven't used these a whole lot. I'm gonna get this one started. I had accidentally stored them upside down. So a lot of my ink. There, now it's going. Make sure you store them going this way or horizontally. I had a problem. I had these in upside down in my cup. Here we go. Go ahead. Initial that one. That turned out really cute. If you want to go ahead and share your picture with me, I'd love to see it. You can do the hashtag Mrs. Hand Painted and tag me on Instagram uh, at Mrs. Hand Painted. I'd love to see if you guys paint one of these little succulent and cactus pots as well. Have a great day, guys. Bye.